So if you're following me on Instagram, then you saw that I recently revamped my living room from this. Uh, to this beauty, yes. I've realized that there's so many basic mistakes that like a lot of people I know are making and there's simple, easy ways, free ways that you can just make your place look more expensive, more luxurious. So if you're curious to know what those tips are, you're looking to make your place look fancy, zoom worthy, then stay tuned. So before I jump into the tips, I'm sure some folks wanna know what's an online interior designer? Who did you get? How much did it cost? I'm gonna put all that information below. I work with Havenly.com. It's $129 per room. I will sum it up by saying it was absolutely worth it. It saved me time. The process was simple. If you wanna see what the process is like, go to my Instagram page and look at the highlights for home decor, home design. The whole thing is outlined there along with more pictures that you can check out. And if you want a 25% off discount, code. This video is not sponsored, but I did work with them for my Instagram post. And so I'll link that below. That brings it to like $97 per room. If you have a room already decorated, you just want to spice it up. That package is like $60, I think with my discount code. So check that out in the description. So let's jump into it. So tip number one is how you hang your curtains. You don't want to hang them like this, basically. So in my previous apartments, I always had the curtains way off the ground, like or ending right under the window. And in terms of width, pretty close in width to the window. But what I learned is it's actually best to hang them high and just barely touching the floor, as you see here. And then also a little wider out from the window because this creates an illusion that makes the windows look bigger. So if you look back there and you see what's going on here, like the windows look huge, they look big, but I hung them a little higher, as you can see, and then much lower and to the ground. So that's a very important tip. That alone will make your space look bigger and make your place look luxurious. Please, if you take anything away from this video, follow that tip. Go ahead, click the like button. If you too have fallen victim to hanging your curtains this way, it's okay. You're not alone. Pillows are expensive. I don't know why, and I'm talking about throw pillows that you throw on your couch, but I think it's because people are looking for a certain fit and a certain look. And so one friend, what's up Clarice, put me on to a great hack that she found on YouTube or Instagram. And it's pretty much like, buy the pillows, we already know we can buy the fills for the pillows elsewhere, right? But you know when your pillow has like all this gappy space, it's just oh, like it's not cute, it's not cute at all. All you have to do is buy the pillow cover one size smaller. When she told me that, I was like, wait, what? That's so smart. I never thought about that before. So I did that for my pillows. So I'll show you the difference of them when you buy it the same exact size. These pillows were 20 by 20 and I bought them as an 18 by 18. And when you do that, it fills up the pillow and the pillow looks nice and luxurious slash expensive. Even though I think they overcharge for those pillows, the point is the pillows are expensive. Therefore your pillows will look expensive because now they look like those overcharged, overpriced pillows. By the way, stay tuned until the end because I got a bonus tip for y'all, bonus tip. Yes. So number three is you need to measure everything. And I know that's gonna sound like a duh, of course I have to measure everything, but I mean everything, all right? And you need to like position things a certain way. So like your rug should not be smaller than your couch, okay, in width. Your couch should be able to sit within the rug. And then it's also ideal if all pieces of furniture are touching your rug. So like I plan on getting a, another chair, uh, an armchair there, and that will touch the rug. There's still a few more things I need to get. I moved the desk out of the way, but the desk touches the rug. The rug is basically like the centerpiece that like brings all of the room together in your living room, if that makes sense. I'm not an interior designer, so forgive me if I'm not using the technical terms. But yeah, so you wanna measure your items in your living room and make sure your rug measurements align with that mindset, basically. And then the other thing, some simple mistakes I made is you wanna measure out like your lamps. So when I first got my lamps, I was thinking, oh, these are only 18 inches tall. Like, that's too small. Why would I want a lamp that small? But then if you look behind me, they align perfectly with the couch. The couch is a lower couch. If it were taller, then it would look weird. My old couch was taller and I was comparing it to that and that's why it's off. So if I had not based it on the measurements of my new couch and instead went by the measurements of my old couch, I would have ended up with two huge lamps 
that just don't look good. If anybody's looking for a lamp like this, please DM me because I will sell it to you. And I wanna know if we've got any folks that already know how to measure and all this measuring stuff that I mentioned. If so, comment below. You got some additional tips, drop those comments below because sharing is caring. Number four, definitely hide your wires. You see this, this is what my TV looks like now. And the wire's out, and that's because I haven't finished, you know, covering them, or at the time I hadn't finished. But if you want your place to like keep the luxurious look, you don't want to half it. You want to go 100%. Add wire covers. My personal advice is to look for skinny ones, like this one that I'm using, because it won't be as noticeable. So you definitely want to make sure you paint it and then put it there on the wall. And sometimes you can use them, here's a little bonus, as to almost create molding and like make your place look more luxurious in that way. Number five, get fake plants that look real, y'all. If you do not have a green thumb or you are not capable of being a plant mom, and you know, I won't even go as far as to say like, I can't be a plant mom because I've never tried, I'm gonna be honest. But I know personally, I don't wanna add another responsibility to my plate. I've got way too much to do and I'm trying to get these YouTube videos to y'all. So the last thing I need to worry about is tending to a real plant. But I also don't like fake looking plants. You know, the ones where you flip them over and they're like white on one side. They also look really thin and they just scream fake. So I found this company called Nearly Natural and I'll put the link below, but their plants, as you see, like they don't scream fake. When people see them, they come to my house. I'm like, yeah, and those are fake. And they're like, oh, for real? Then they get closer, examine it, they know. But the point is they have to get closer to know and realize that it is fake. You can see like the really good vining. They've taken the time to paint it on both sides. So it's not obvious that it's fake. So that's my personal recommendation. Getting really fake plants that look fake, bring down the look of your space and you can't do luxury with cheap looking plants. So the bonus that I promised you, matchy matchy furniture is apparently out, y'all. You remember the days when our parents used to buy the furniture sets like in the store? It's a whole set. You see this? I got like a couch. I bought all this stuff from different places and I plan to put the, the armchair that I told you. Back in the day, you could buy it as a full set. You still can, but the only difference is it's not in like it used to be. So that's the bonus. Stop buying matchy matchy sets. Apparently it's a dead giveaway. It's the thing that's gonna make your place look cheap. It is. All right, so those are the super, super, basic things that a lot of people are doing to make their space look cheap. I was doing them, I was guilty, so I'm not saying I'm better than y'all, but please take the tips, they're free. That's the beautiful part of it. They are free and they make your space look luxurious. Look at this, I am not rich. My place just looks like it. And once again, if y'all are interested in my online interior designer, that information is below. I'm gonna give y'all my discount code as well. Get your 25% off because why not? get your room design for $90, this for $90, that's a good look. By the way, if you have any questions about Haverly, definitely feel free to drop those questions below. I am happy to help. Once again, on my Instagram page, in the highlights, you'll see the whole process. So feel free to check that out too. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click this video because it's gonna bring you joy, I promise. Go ahead, click it.